I'm sorry, not you giving my services away for free. No, you need to return your babysitter. <laughs> Alright, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today, by the title, we are starting the new episode series. I'm so excited and... Guys, this one's gonna be so good. Um, so I asked you guys on my community page, like I asked you guys to vote and comment down below. And I know that I think it was being the bad boy one, but I got so many messages and comments and my previous videos all said rule breaker. And I promised you guys last time that I would do rule breaker. So we are starting rule breaker today. Um, I don't know how many episodes there are, but I'm excited. Um, so hopefully next time we can do beating the bad boy unless a new one comes out. But I'll let you guys decide. But yeah, this one pretty much won because I was reading all my comments. Even though the voting was off. But yeah. Um, but a lot of you guys requested this one. So that's what we're going to play. Um, so let's just jump into the game and see what happens. I'm excited to start this one. Um, let's just get into it. Okay. Rule Breaker episode one. Oh, hey sis. So what's your name? Let's do Skylar. I like that name. So let's do that. The hair. Ew. No, thank you. And we're gonna go with this. That's okay. She looks great. Okay. Yeah, she looks fine. Oh, is this her friend? Okay. Guys, I'm having a party tonight at my place. Cool, I'll be there. You'll be there too, right, babe? Babe, hold up. She has a boyfriend. Okay. Of course, maybe we'll see. Uh, I don't really like his eyebrows are scary, so maybe. <laughs> if you play your cards right. Cool, be right back. Gotta take a dump. Thanks for that information, Russ. God, Russ is so amazing. Yeah, like totally amazing. Watch it. That's my boyfriend you're talking about? Okay, Skylar, you gotta chill, sis. I was just making a joke. Relax. No, she wants your man, but let her take him. We don't want him. <laughs> it wasn't very funny. Oh, Candy. Candy's my homegirl. I didn't know you guys were official. I'm sorry. Who is this bitch? I'm sorry. What? We are. That's so great. I'm so happy for you. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you are, Melissa. Keep an eye on her. Oh. Candy said she's a snake. What? I didn't say anything. So Skylar, I heard you'll be parent free for a month. Yeah, my dad is leaving on a business trip early tomorrow. That means you'll throw some awesome parties, right? I'm sorry. Is it your house, Melissa? No. Sorry, don't go making suggestions out there, okay? You mean like tea parties? I haven't thought about it. Not parties you'll be invited to. Ooh. The last one seems like it'll start some drama up and uh, I'm gonna do the last one. No parties you'll be invited to. You wouldn't like the kind of parties I throw anyhow. Come on, don't be a prude. You should have a wild party. If she doesn't want to have a wild party, she doesn't have to. Whatever. I should get home. My phone died and I don't want my dad to worry. I get you. I'll see you tonight. Of course. Bye guys. I don't like Melissa and I don't like her boyfriend. Where are you going, baby girl? <laughs> Away from you. <laughs> I don't want to be around you. I'm leaving. Do you mind taking me home? Uh, right now. No, not right now. That's why I asked. If you wouldn't mind, please. Yeah. Yep. Now exactly what you said you would. If you wouldn't mind, I guess. If you wouldn't mind, please. Yeah, fine. Whatever. I'm, I'm sorry. Would you like to take Melissa home instead? Because we can, we can arrange for that. Thanks. Skylar, you need some better taste in your men. Just saying. Thanks for driving me home. There you are. Who's this old man? That is her father. You better put respect on his name. This old man is her dad. Oh shit. And you are? Dad, this is Russ, my boyfriend. Unfortunately, Foss. What's up, brother from another mother? This is embarrassing. I'm getting first hand embarrassment for him. <gasps> Sir, you're dating this loser? <laughs> You know what? I like her dad already. <laughs> Obviously, dad. Tragically, yes. Yeah. Tragically, yes. Tragically, yes. <laughs> the way I'm throwing so much shade, it's fine. Russ, was it? Yeah, man. You better be out of my house in three seconds or else. Bye-bye. Whoa, rude. Says you, Mr. Brother from another mother. Mm-hmm. I thought you said your dad was cool, Skylar. He is, just not to you. Whatever, I'm out of here. Please don't ever come back. I've called you ten times. Sorry, Dad, my phone died. Did you need to tell me something important? As a matter of fact, yes. I want to talk to you about my business trip tomorrow. Dad, I'll be fine. It's just a month. I can take care of myself. I know you can, but... 
I have a friend who's just got out of a relationship and needs a place to stay while he finds a new one. I told him he could stay here if that's okay with you. Are you being serious right now? Why didn't you ask me? I'm not a little girl anymore. I mean, <laughs> just why didn't you tell me? <laughs> why didn't you ask me about this before inviting someone I've never met here? You have met him, but you were much younger then, so I'm not sure if you remember him. I don't need a babysitter. I'm going to college soon. It's a favor to him. He needs a place to stay. I wouldn't leave you here with someone random. Trust me, Easton is an angel. Easton? Yeah, Easton King. Ring any bells? Yeah, I kind of remember him. His vague rings a bell. Nope, don't remember. Nope, I don't know him. Nope, don't remember him. Well, he's coming over here tonight. Is this going to be our love interest? Easton, wait, he's friends with my dad? Is he old? Please don't tell me he's old. What? I thought we could all have dinner together so you can get to know each other better. I have plans with Russ tonight. Cancel them. <laughs> no, you don't. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I come with you? Absolutely not. But Amir gets to go. Hey. Are you guys talking shit about me? Yes. Never, babe. Oh, it's his boyfriend. That's why he gets to go, sis. It's your dad's boyfriend. Of course he gets to go. Skylar wants to come with us on my business trip. What? Excuse me, Amar. Don't laugh. Don't laugh at me. What's so funny? Sweetheart, you have school. You just want to be alone together? Well, that too. We haven't had a decent vacation since our honeymoon. Oh, they're married. Okay, so that's her stepdad. Gotcha. Now go freshen up. Easton will be here any second. You think she'll be okay? Of course, don't worry so much. I feel bad for leaving her for so long. Your friend will keep an eye on her. Relax. You're right. I need to stop worrying about everything. I'm going to go home and pack my bags. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> go off. <laughs> A couple hours later. Um, hey, you talking to dad? Skylar, just in time. Um, is homegirl okay? Girl, are you, you can grow. You, you okay, sis? Skylar, this is Easton. This man standing before me was nothing how I imagined. He had skin that was smooth like velvet, soft but captivating eyes, and a jaw that could cut through stone. He narrowed his eyes at me and studied me, and that alone made my toes curl. He was the most gorgeous man I've ever seen. Hey, we're gonna customize you. Sorry, mate. Oh, let's see. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. He kind of looks like Ian Summerholder, but it's totally okay. We're here for it. Is this your daughter? Um, yeah, hi. Yeah, I didn't realize she'd be so beautiful. I know. Easton paused for a moment. It seemed like he was looking for the right word. His gaze was still right at me and he flicked his tongue over his lower lip. Um, her dad is right there. Why are you looking at her like that? His hard stare made me feel nervous. Be so what? Nothing. Is something burning? The pizza! Oh, good job, dad. Are you done staring? No. <laughs> no, I knew like sorry, it's been a while. I was not I was not staring. I was definitely not staring at you. And even if I was, it's just because it's been so long since I saw you. It has been quite some time. It's great to see you again. Sure it has. Um, yeah. How old are you? I'm 24 and you must Whoa! Okay, hold up. And she's still in high school? Hold up. Hmm, if I lie and say I'm 21, maybe he'll give me more freedom. Say you're 21, say you're- Girl, you are 18, and your dad probably told him. You're dumb. I'm 18. Huh. What? Sorry, it's kind of weird to see that you're almost an adult now. Okay, cool. What do you mean, almost? I am an adult. That <laughs> said every 17-year-old or 18-year-old ever. Sure you are. I do stuff that adults do. Oh, really? Yes. Like what? Uh, the laundry, mowing the lawn, cooking. <laughs> the laundry. <laughs> the laundry? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, you know what? Easton, don't appreciate the attitude, but okay. Dinner is ready. After you. This pizza you made is amazing. I haven't had a home-cooked meal and it's pizza. Tina didn't cook for you. Who's Tina? <laughs> Who's Tina? Is he okay? Sorry for bringing your ex up. I didn't think. It's fine. She was always too tired or out partying with her friends and I can't cook to save my life. Skylar is excellent in the kitchen. I bet she could cook you something nice while I'm away. Uh, I'm sorry. Not you giving my services away for free. Right, sweetie? No. Uh, be polite, be rude. <laughs> um, I think rude would be funny. Right? No, be polite. Okay, I'll be polite. Sure, I'll cook for you. You don't have to. I know, because I won't. It's not a problem. In that case, I'd love a home-cooked meal. Um, no one asked. Maybe you could even teach me. Of course. So what happened to you and your girlfriend? Whoa, <laughs> way to leave it to Skylar to be nosy. Skylar, it's fine. We broke up because she cheated on me. I. Uh, that's rough. Sorry, mate. With my best friend? Oh, yikes. You lost two and one. Yikes. Oh, shit. Language. Sorry, dad. I guess some people aren't who you think you are. 
Yep. So I'm currently looking for an apartment since we were living together. It's not easy to find a nice apartment with a great location in this town. You know you can stay here as long as you like. I appreciate that, James. I'd like it more if you let me pay you. Looking after my daughter while I'm away is more than- I thought you said I didn't need a babysitter. She can be a handful. Excuse me. Speak for yourself. Okay, dad? Oh, really? No, he's exaggerating. He's exaggerating. He's exaggerating. It looks like I'll be the judge of that. You look like you're more of a problem than me, okay? Hey babe, where are you? Um, at my house, dumbass. Oh no, I forgot to tell Russ I can't go to his party. Who cares? May I please be excused for a minute? Sure. Why is he looking at her like that? Hey, I'm sorry, but I can't come tonight. My dad's friend here is for dinner. I have to wash my hair. There's someone way hotter than- What? Why would- Girl, no, my dad's friend is here. I'm having dinner with my dad and his friend tonight. You're kidding me, right? No. Can't you sneak out later? No, I can't. You can't or you won't. Listen, you're not really worth the sneaking out. If you were, she would, okay? I'll try and sneak out later, okay? No, you won't. Listen, don't be a party pooper. Excuse me? You're not sneaking out later. You can't tell me what to do. Dad already said I go. You can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. Fine, let's get your dad then. Wait, yes, maybe we can negotiate. Negotiate, huh? Yes. This should be interesting. Go on. If you don't tell my dad what I'm up to, I'll get you a thank you gift. I won't have to annoy you to death. I won't tell him what you I won't tell him what you're up to. If you don't tell my dad what I'm up to, then I won't tell him what you're up to. What am I up to? Come on, I bet you like to party and have some fun instead of babysitting me. Let's get something clear. Your dad is a very good friend of mine. I don't know how you're friends with my dad. You're 24. I don't know how old her dad is. But I don't I don't know about that. I'm in the middle of a separation. Listen, it's a breakup. Relax. And he's kind enough to open up his home for me in exchange for keeping an eye on you. Now, what kind of friend would I be if I let him down like that? I don't know. A bad one? But you don't really seem like a nice person anyways. Who are you meeting anyway? My date? None of your business. None of your business. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. You should know that while your dad isn't here, you'll be living under my rules. I'm sorry, but it's my house. So I will follow your rule, but it's my house at the end of the day. Yeah. There will be no sneaking out at night or acting reckless. Okay, mom. Whoa, who do you think you are? There you are. Is everything okay? No, you need to return your babysitter. Yeah, totally fine. I was just telling your daughter that she'll be following my rules while you're away. Good. I trust you to take good care of her. Mm-hmm. Probably real good care of her. Oh, I will. Oh my goodness, I haven't shown you to your room yet. Skylar, would you be an angel and show him to the guest room? No, you said you were gonna show him. <laughs> of course, I guess, I guess, I guess. Follow me. This is your room. Thanks, little one. Um, please do not patronize me. Sorry, I used to call you that when you were younger. You're only six years older than me. Calm down there, Easton. But I guess you're not so little anymore. No, I'm not, so don't call me that again. Fully noted. Good. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to be a little nicer to me. Actually, it would. Fine, whatever. Yes, it would. <laughs> you know, you used to love me when you were younger. Yeah, keyword, used. I gave you your favorite doll when you were younger, remember? You played with it for months. I was a kid back then. It's gonna take more than a toy to get me to like you now. I have a feeling it's gonna be interesting to live with you. Mm-hmm. More like torture. I'll check on you later tonight. No thanks. Relax, I won't sneak out. If we're done here, I like to relax. Relax, I won't sneak out. God, he's already getting on my nerves. Relax, he'll only be here for a few weeks. The next day. Girl, what are you wearing? Hello, who are you? Hi, I'm Tom, Easton's assistant. Ah. Uh what does he do? Oh, you poor thing. I actually enjoy working for him. He's a good man. Sure you do, Tom. Right. I know he can be broody, but he hasn't had it easy in life. Thank God for your dad. Without him, I'm not sure what would have happened to him. What do you mean by that? You don't know the story of how they met? Um, no. Your dad basically saved his life. The story is really emotional. I almost burst into tears every time I tell the story. I'd love to tell you about it if you have time. I'm really curious to know the story and learn why Easton is the way he is. Understand Easton, no thanks. I want to know. I want to know the tea, okay? Because I know he's not going to tell me, so i got to find out on my own. I have time. I'd love to hear the story. All right. The story begins 11 years ago. Back when Easton King was 13 years old and lived in a trailer park with his dad. He didn't grow up with a mother. She died when Easton was just a baby. Easton's mom was diagnosed with the aggressive form of uterine cancer. The doctors believe that if... 
The doctors believe that if she started treatment right away, she could be saved. But starting treatment meant getting rid of the baby. She continued with her pregnancy, choosing to keep her baby. Oh no. Easton's father loved Easton's mom dearly and blamed Easton for her death. Oh, okay. He has issues. He despised Easton and did everything he could to make sure he knew how much he resented him. Oh my god, this poor kid. One day, Easton had enough. He packed a bag and ran away from home. He had enough money to get by at first, but after a few months, his money was gone and autumn was approaching. It was cold. He didn't have any money and he was hungry. Spare some food, please, sir. Are you crazy? I don't give away handouts to little brats. Please, I haven't eaten for two days. I'm hungry. Not my freaking problem. Go home, kid. Okay, Kyle, you have a stick up your ass. I don't have a home. Hey, kid, I bought too much food. You would help me a lot if you could take one of my sandwiches. No, sir, I couldn't. It's your food. I insist, please. All right. Good? Yeah. Thank you. James spoke for the boy. He couldn't leave him without making sure he was okay. I'm James. Easton. Easton, where do you live? I can take you home. No. Please don't take me home. I'd do anything. All right, all right, calm down. Why don't you come with me to work today and then we'll talk about where you're gonna go, okay? Okay. What happened after that? James helped Easton to get into proper foster care and they kept in contact. When Easton was old enough to work, James helped him get a job. James said he's never seen anyone as hardworking as him. He started his own company called King Financial at only 18 years old. That's impressive. So he's rich. Who cares? Oh, okay. Not the last two. That's impressive. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, I can't say I don't envy him, but I can't complain. Working as an assistant is great and I get paid very well. Wow, you know what? I respect you, Easton. Okay. Are you talking shit about me again, Tom? Listen, don't be attacking him. No, sir, I was just... I'm just messing with you. Skylar, your father is ready to leave. Let's say goodbye. Don't tell me what to do. I, I hate to leave you again, but I'll be back in a month. I'm glad Easton is keeping an eye on you. You can tell it how it is, Dad. Babysitting. I'll be a good babysitter. Thanks, Easton. I don't doubt that. Call me if there's anything. Love you, Dad. Bye, Dad. Smell you later, Dad. Love you. <laughs> Love you, Dad. Love you too, sweetheart. So, I guess it's just us now. Guess so. How's your mom? I don't know. I haven't spoken to her in two years. How come? When Dad came out and asked for a divorce, she ran off. We've talked on the phone once or twice since then, but that's it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. She's really busy, I guess. I was never priority of her. She's kind of a jerk anyhow. She's a jerk. It's fine. She's kind of a jerk anyhow. Anyway, I should go. I don't want to be late for school. All right, get dressed. I'll drive you. I am dressed. Those shorts are kind of short for school, don't you think? I'm sorry. It says... <laughs> Hold up. Not... Not you telling me how to dress. That's what we're not gonna do, okay? That's none of your business. Everyone wore shorts this length. I don't know, were you looking at my legs? That's none of your business. That's none of your business. Why were you even looking at my legs? That's kinda inappropriate, Mr. King. Don't be silly. I'm not changing. Fine, whatever, let's go. Um, <laughs> listen, this guy has control issues, okay? I'm taking the bus today. I gotta go so I don't miss it, but see ya. Great, rain, I'll be soaked. Girl, you should've taken that car ride. Oh wow, he came to pick her up. <laughs> hey, I saw it was starting to rain. Why don't you ride with me? If we're going to be living together, I want to get to know you. Okay, but I get to pick the music. I'm good. I'm not walking in the rain. I'm paying for this. All right, I'll ride with you. Good choice. Oh my God, does he have a Mustang? Does he have a Mustang? Let's listen to some pop, hip hop, rock, hip hop. Girl, that is not how you dance to hip hop. Mm -mm. Good music choice. Thanks. This is a fancy car. How did you get it? I stole it. No, you didn't. I'm kidding. Girl, you look like you pooped your pants. Not funny. It was a little funny. I actually got this by working hard and saving up. So tell me a little about yourself. All I know is that you're dating someone and then you got some spunk. What do you want to know? Your deepest, darkest secret. You first. You're messing with me. No way. You first. You first. Doesn't work that way. I asked you first. I guess I'll figure that one on my own. You can try. What do you do for fun? I like reading and watching movies, playing sports, hanging out. I read and watch movies. <laughs> I like reading books and watching movies. That's cool. And you? I like running, cars, and sometimes I play guitar. Wow, he's the package. <laughs> I also hang out with my friends Mustafa and Oliver. You play guitar? Is that so hard to believe? You have to play for me sometime. Yeah, not gonna happen. Listen, if you want food, you're gonna play the guitar, okay? Please. Stop with the puppy eyes. Please. Fine, I'll play for you sometime. After I've taken some lessons. So you don't know how to play the guitar? Yay! You know what? I think you're starting to like me. Ew. No. <laughs> Am I right? Definitely. That's for me to know and you to find out. Obviously not. Obviously not. Somehow, I doubt that. Are those your friends over there? Um, just the one. Just candy. Not the other two. 
Holy shit! What is Skylar doing with that hottie? Um, none of your business. Yeah, they're staring at us. I wonder why. I'll pick you up after school. Oh my god, that guy you came with is totes eye candy. I have to tell you something. Sure, what is it? He's gonna stay with me while my dad's on a business trip. He broke up with his girlfriend and needed a place to stay. He's living with you and he's single? God, you're lucky. Candy, chill out. Nothing can happen. Why not? He's supposed to watch over me. I don't know if he likes me. I don't like him. He's supposed to watch over you. He's supposed to watch over me. Also, he's my dad's friend. Oh, forbidden. I like that. Even if I were attracted to him, nothing could ever happen between us. Skylar? Oh, hey. I hope he didn't hear that. You forgot your backpack in the car. I really hope he didn't hear that. Shit. Uh, thanks for dropping it off. No problem. Bye. Do you think he heard that? You want me to lie? Oh, no. Shit. He's gonna tease me about it for sure. I'm not sure about that. I swear I could see a flicker of heat in his eyes. Don't be ridiculous. Uh-oh. What? It looks like Melissa is staking her claim. Oh, Melissa needs to not be nasty. Oh, is that the end? Is that the end? Hold up, is that the end? Okay, what? Um, I like this episode already. This is just, this is long and juicy and I'm here for it. I, I like this one already. The Forbidden Love, I'm here for it. Um, but tell me what you guys thought in the comments down below. I feel like this one's going to be a really good episode. Um, there's 15 episodes in total, so we have 14 more to go. So we should be done this series in about two weeks. And then after that, we will start a new series. So don't worry. But I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. I love y'all so much. Don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, scouts. Bye.